Hey Shopify users, in this video I am going to show you how you can present data related to your variants on the product page with the help of meta fields and also I'll give you some customization tips related to it. If you haven't seen the first video I created on the topic, go please watch that. That's this part one right here. What if you have different variations of your product and one of the variant has some data specific to that variant that you want to show and how are you going to achieve that now that will take a bit more customization than uh, let's do that now before i move forward let's go take a glance at the variant meta fields that i had added so in here you're seeing different uh, meta fields i added so let's go check out a product so for example I'm gonna go back to this product here so in here now because this is related to the variant I am gonna go into say blue here edit and just like we added the meta field data before all the way down here you can see already there's all these fields these are from the variant meta fields and then I already have specified some values in here and same way you are gonna go and specify your values for your variance in here so now if i uh, go back to the other variant right now you're seeing here this is plastic and i specified a field for this uh, these two fields and now i wanted to specify a different value mary your variants have different data that you, you know that you want to show and here i only have it for this pink uh, product and the all the others are empty back to main dash product liquid in here we are going to add some more code let's go to line around 397 ish kind of around here and right around here so where you're seeing this and unless so right after that i'm going to paste this code now so basically what's happening in here is we're going to the variants and we're doing some things we're hiding and showing stuff like that but one thing that you might want to really know and focus on is this area what is this i already have some of these fields added to the meta field for the variant as you can see you know, I named them like test variant whatever and then I am looking if that value is there then relative to that I am showing that now why is it important for you to understand this here is that you might have different fields right so you might have dimensions or something else so make sure to change this to whatever you are showing for the variant i have material and then i am connecting that to a field that i added then i have care instructions then i have another field then i also added a url in the variant and uh then i have relative code to show that so one important thing i left out a piece of code very important you need to add this n4 right after this diff and then save next what we're gonna do is go to global.js which is in the assets folder so within here look for global.js right here you are gonna go down to line 70 771 that's around right here okay right here there you see all this else condition right here so what you're gonna do is right before this update options and where this bracket closing bracket is hit enter and you are going to add this function and then what you're going to do is put this function right above right around here so the same way this dot this and then close this bracket like this and then one more thing you need to do is 
in here you're going to paste this so this is the line you're going to add up here and this down here and now save this and then we need to add just a bit of css so go to section main product.css in the assets folder i'm going to go all the way down and i'm going to paste a bit of this custom CSS. Save this. So back here on the page, I'm going to refresh this. And you can see down here, these fields showed up and blue selected. Now let me select pink. Look at that. No more those fields show here. And just this link shows this was the meta field that was there, if you guys remember. Now go back to blue again. So there you go. This way you can present different data related to your variants. So the next what I'm going to show you is how you can show a pop-up here uh, if you have any more details to show for your variant. So this is different than the pop-up we saw earlier that Shopify provides. Um, in the customized area you see in here there's this pop-up so this pop-up here if you add this this is going to be showing for uh, every variant every product it's going to be there at all times so what i am going to show you is like the pop-up that is connected to a variant field that only shows when uh, the variant has some more details so how we are going to achieve that is first let's go into our meta fields area so go into variants and you'll see this field up here. I already added one. It is content type page. So just to show you how you're going to do that is name it to whatever you want, custom dot, whatever you want to name this. Um, this doesn't have to be custom. You can name it whatever you want. And then here in the, um, actually, it's not going to let me go. Let's do test pop up. And then in here, you are going to select type page like this. And then you save it. So now you have a variant field in there that is connected to a page. This page is going to be the content that's going to show in the pop up. So now let's go back into the code. And down where we had this code for custom variant fields, I am going to add some more code right here. So this is what I pasted. Of course, I will leave a link where you can copy this. And there's a basically just a modal showing and there's some code that opens it. And yeah, there's kind of like a lot of stuff going on here. And let me save this. And now next we're gonna go into CSS and add a bit of CSS in here. So down here, uh, maybe you guys don't have this. I had added this to fix some margins between that description that was showing for the variants, but this is the most important one right here. I added, so I add this at the end, save. And now let's go back and check out our variants where we need to specify now what page we want to show so we will go back into the product so i'm gonna go into pink edit go all the way down and I am using this field I had added before. This is the new one that we added. I already have this in code, so I'm just gonna continue to use that. So here you can just change it to whichever page you wanna show. I just have it tied to privacy policy for now. And uh, so that's it. Make sure whichever variant you wanna show that pop-up for, you have to select some page here. Otherwise, of course, it's not gonna show. So go back into our page here and let's see so i had added this for pink where is it 
pink variant. So let's go to, I'm going to refresh this page first. So on blue, this is just old stuff showing. I click on pink and you can see right here, there's this pop-up field. So this is what I had in the code. And then if you click this, look, there's this privacy page. So if you go back to the code, you can see that in this code you will see here right here this is the pop-ups of course you can change this to um, whatever you want this to say or you could also just add another uh, field or something you know uh, and then get the text from there so that's it for now guys if you like the video please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video